This trend where people are exploiting kids for clout has honestly got to stop. Bro, tell me why. A few days ago, I was scrolling through Twitter, getting in my daily scroll, and I saw a video of this child rapping some of the most wild lyrics I've ever heard in my entire life. Now for y'all that don't know, that child is Lil RT, a 9 year old rapper who started blowing up a few months back on the internet after a video of him freestyling went viral, and in that freestyle, he dropped one of the hardest bars to ever exist on this entire planet. This man literally made driving 60 miles sound like it was top speed for a Lamborghini. While in reality, 60 miles isn't really getting you anywhere if the cops are right behind you, except for the penitentiary. But long story short, that freestyle was eventually turned into a full song after it popped off, and here he is now, performing shows and rapping with some of the most thought-provoking lyrics on my Twitter feed. We should be proud of him, right? I mean, every other 9-year-old is picking their nose in 3rd grade, watching videos on TikTok with freaking GTA clips at the bottom. While this kid is in the studio grinding his butt off cooking up bangers we should be proud of him wrong because why are we honestly even hyping up a nine-year-old rapper now don't get me wrong lil rt he does have some fire songs even though he can sound like a wild thornberry half the time <laughs> He does have some fire inside his catalog. But let's also not forget that he's literally just a child. For I saw a video the other day of him smacking a grown woman's butt cheeks. If that is not odd behavior, then I don't know what is. Hey bro, hey bro, hey bro, hey bro, hey bro. Come here, man, come here, man, come here, man. I just caught you on BoodooWatches.com. How you feel, bro? Smack that shit. Hey, that come shit. here. Hey, he said, come here right quick. He said, come here right quick. But you just got looking at some ass, bro. Hold on, bro. Wait. I want Paddy with. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that that video was posted to the internet for every human being in the world to see, that is absolutely crazy. Imagine your children, 20 years from now, doing some sort of family tree project. You know, they gotta look up your name and everything, they gotta look up the family name. Then boom, as they're surfing through the interwebs, they see a video of their mother getting her butt smacked by a nine-year-old child. That is wild. Or vice versa, imagine you're looking up your father for a family project, and boom, you see a video of him hyping up a nine-year-old to smack a grown woman's butt cheek. That is absolutely crazy. Like, it's just odd behavior. But what's even more odd is that the YouTuber King Sid was doing a smasher pass with Lil RT in a Chick fil A. A smasher pass with a nine year old. Alright, so we're gonna do a smasher pass based off girls um, I follow. So I'm, I'm, I'm spirit recording right now. Uh, I'm gonna just go press random girls I follow, alright? You know, I follow a lot of. Uh, lately, I've been following a lot of girls, boy. Smasher pass. Damn, I follow some bad shit. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me see this shit. Smash your pants. <laughs> huh? Smash your pants, come on. Oh, you can't really see her? Smash? Okay, bet. Oh, this one right here. <laughs> Smash. Smash? Oh, Katie. Okay, you waste no time with her. Yeah. <laughs> this one right here. Hold on. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad that won't follow it, boy. Hold on. Smash your pants. <laughs> Smash your pass with a nine year old is absolutely crazy. I never thought we would have gotten to that point of content where we are playing Smash your pass with nine year olds. Is that how dry YouTube is right now? That people are out here playing Smash or Pass with a nine year old? That is absolutely crazy. That That's actually crazy. Bro, at nine years old, I didn't even know what smashing was. Bro, if you would have said Smash, I would have thought you were talking about Hulk Smash or something like that. How do you even think of this idea and be like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. I should go into Chick fil A and do a mukbang and play Smasher Pass with Lil RT. That is absolutely crazy. What's also sad is that Lil RT has no idea what he's saying half the time. About a month ago, he was on Kai Sinat's stream, and let me just say that that had to be one of the most wholesome streams ever because you got to see Lil RT in a different light. You got to see him actually being a child. But also during the stream, Kai and Lil RT were doing a freestyle, and during that freestyle, this man Lil RT basically said he was going to sexually assault a girl, and I don't even think he knew what he was. Say, here's a clip. I walk a girl, and I get a girl, and I want a hug, mm. and I got her number, and I'm gonna run for that little partner. What? 
I genuinely don't think that like, I, I don't think he knew what he was saying right there. And I'm also not trying to blame Lil RT because I mean, at the same time, he is only nine years old. Like, like what is he supposed to know? Like, I don't expect this man to be freaking Mega Mind or Albert Einstein at nine years old. But it's just sad to see that this kid isn't being a kid. He's just trying too hard to act grown. Bro, I was literally watching the stream with him and Kai and it's like, bro, he literally said that he doesn't play with toys because he's too grown for that. No, hey, hey, look, 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 look. Huh? You playing with? Yes, he was. Yes, he is. Why you? Why you act like kids? Why you playing with toys, bro? Bro, you you is a kid, bro. What you play with? I don't say anything. Come on, so what you say? I don't play with toys, bro. You play with toys? No. I bet. How are you too grown for toys at nine years old? Bro, when I was nine years old, it was mandatory for me to have a WWE action figure on me at all times. But all that being said, I feel like it's pretty obvious that everyone around Lil RT is trying to use him for money and clout and their personal gain. Because let's be real, he's not old enough to make decisions by himself. A lot of the decisions in his career were probably made from somebody who's way older. Honestly, it just feels like everyone around him is just trying to vicariously live their rap career through Lil RT. Because I mean, he's nine years old, all the eyes are on him he's impressionable and when you're a child in an industry that's dominated by adults the eyes are going to automatically be on you because you stick out like a sore mm. thumb because let's also be real Lil RT's music it's not like anything crazy I think the only thing about Lil RT is that he's nine years old if there's a grown man rapping like Lil RT people are just going to walk past his music because I mean there's nothing really crazy about it but the fact that he's nine and he's rapping like this that's why so many eyes are on him and also I understand that Lil RT didn't come from the best place growing up so he may be different from other children but at the end of the day he's still a child why is a child rapping about shooting his ops and smashing girls it's honestly crazy but what's even crazier is that other people are trying to do the exact same method where they take a child and try to make him a rapper the other day i was scrolling through ig reels and i saw multiple videos of new up-and-coming child rappers Now don't get me wrong, the first kid, he was cooking. I can't lie to you, that man cooked. But the second kid, he just sounds like a kid's bop version of Lil RT. And I like how there's a dude in the back who's just like, he knows it's garbage, but he's just hyping it up just cause it's a child, bro. Honestly, the second kid, he needs to hop out the booth and go to some speech classes because I couldn't understand one word he was saying. But you know what's even worse? Your father treating you like you're a custom character in a Madden career mode. I introduce you to Baby Gronk. If you're unfamiliar with Baby Gronk, well basically he's just a 10 year old football player nicknamed after the NFL player Rob Gronkowski. But he's not just any youth football player, he's the most annoying youth football player. Mainly because his dad runs his social media. And like any father taking over their son's social media, you know there's always gonna be a ton of forced, fake, and cringy content. Like this video right here. Does your girlfriend have an Instagram? Yes. Do you have her login? Probably not. She doesn't want you to know that she's DMing me. Does your girlfriend have a girl's night? Guess what? It's not a girl's night. She's at my house finishing up her show on Netflix. Number one, I wanted to point out all this freaking ice on his deck. That junk is probably $76 at Zoomies in all. This man probably got the package deal, the Black Friday sale of Zoomie chains. And number two, it sounds like this kid has a gun to his head while he's recording this video. His dad probably said that he's gonna take his Xbox if he doesn't record this video. So this man probably cried his heart out in the tub, came back, recorded the video, and here it is now on the interwebs for everybody to see. But that's not even the worst video on his page. Cause you have this video right here. Don't bring your girlfriend around me, cause I got riz. Don't let your mom know you're friends with me. She might start liking me. Don't tell your older sister I play football, cause she's gonna fall in love with me. Grab your girl's phone, check her Instagram, I bet she DM'd me. Number one, this man is back with the $6 Zoomies chain. Number two, this man's dad probably just figured out the word Riz. He was probably scrolling through TikTok for probably like two hours or something. So a Kai Snap video, Kai Snap was saying Riz. He's like, oh man, Riz? Is that what the is that what the young kids are saying nowadays? Hey, 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 Sonny boy, record this video real quick. Say you got Riz and say that you're gonna steal people's mothers and stuff. All right, we gonna upload it to the, to the, to the Instagram. Can, can you hashtag it for me? This man was probably in the lab cooking this up, thinking that he's the next LeVar Ball. 
ball, thinking that his son is going to be the next LaMelo ball of football. But again, the video just comes out stupid. It literally looks like this man got beat with a belt before he recorded this video. <laughs> this video just feels like it's a dad trying to vicariously live through his son's football career, bro. And I feel bad for the kid because the kid probably just wants to chill and play football, but his dad is probably forcing him to do all of this stuff. And I truly feel like this is going to create a resentment in the future, bro. I feel like this kid's not going to like football in the next like five or six years, all because of this. Your dad's mad and you don't know why? Because your mom's checking me out on Instagram. Your girlfriend said that she needs a break and you don't know why? Because she saw me at the mall last night. I have the best haircut on the internet. I have Riz, I have Drip, I have everything you were born with. As you can see in this video, he finally took off that Zoomies chain. I don't know what happened. His neck might have started turning green off of it. But once again, he's just saying the same thing. This man is saying Riz, Drip. He's just saying a bunch of Gen Z buzzwords, bro, just so he can sound hip with all the with all the cool kids. Hey, hey, say Riz, say, say, say Drip. They gonna love it. They gonna love when you say Drip. Dude, I genuinely feel bad for this kid, bro. Like, bro, this man isn't even trying anymore to make these videos sound believable. It's like he's just saying it just so he can get back to playing his freaking Xbox, bro. His dad has some weird sexual fantasy thing <laughs> your dad's using you for clout and you don't know why you have drool on your face and a speech impediment <laughs> they hate him because they know they can never be one percent of you okay this guy is glazing like crazy your dad forced you to get that cut forced you to do that video forced you to push your hairline all the way to the rim of a basketball you also were forced to have a dad yet was forced to use the worst pickup lines forced to have the name baby Gronk. you were also forced to stay with your mom you were also forced to find your dad on your own you were forced to get on your knees for your dad and yet agree with him you were forced to get money out of this you were forced to get abused by your own family so that's it and if you're mad stay mad i feel so bad for this kid bro because it probably started off with him just wanting to play football or something because he genuinely thought it was cool and now look at him bro this man is being abused by his family bro recording these stupid little videos just so they can get some extra money in their pockets dog it's negative four degrees i have a message for my generation we suck we're soft. We don't appreciate anything. Get off the video games. Get off the YouTube. Stop telling your mom what you want to eat. Stop dancing on TikTok and freaking work out. Stop trying to go viral. Stop trying to chase clout. Stay hard. I like how he says stop trying to go viral and stop trying to chase clout when he's literally doing the exact same thing in this video which that's probably the joke i mean he's probably just making a joke out of freaking david goggins or something but overall i genuinely feel like this man is gonna quit football one day I, I don't think this kid's gonna make it to the nfl because he has all this pressure on him number one and number two he probably doesn't even like the sport anymore all because of all this stuff that comes with it because i'm not gonna lie bro i actually used to play football when i was younger and if i had all these cameras on me and being forced to make these videos to promote my games and stuff like oh i'm watching netflix with your mother i i don't think i would like football anymore bro like i said this kid's dad probably thinks that he's the next lavar ball when truly he's probably not but since we're talking about kids being exploited and stuff like that on ig reels i was actually scrolling through ig reels a few days ago actually and i saw this one account and it was called glock 2 crazy and basically this account it's a little kid saying all these like not inspirational quotes but it's just a little kid basically talking crazy to everyone on the camera and in the start of the videos, you can literally hear, like, it sounds like maybe his older brother or something saying, go, before the video starts. Like, watch this real quick. Oh. I hate broke ass nigga, go get some paint. Bro, you can literally hear the man say, come on, at the start. Oh. Like, bro, you can tell that this kid is just forcing everything he's saying out of his mouth. I see why y'all bitches be rescued, y'all learning from y'all mama. This is like the same thing with Lil RT, where it's like, bro, Lil RT, the eyes are on him because he's young, saying what he's saying. And same with this kid, bro. If a grown adult made a video saying the exact same thing, nobody would pay attention. But since it's a kid saying it, everyone is paying attention. And I feel like what's even crazier is that this man has both of his air forces on on the wrong feet. Just a reminder, you close this, not all of that. Like, I just feel like it's sad to take advantage of your younger brother or younger cousin or something like that just for some clout. Like, I just feel like that's like the, one of the most corniest things you can ever do, bro. And I feel like that's one of the biggest trends right now of people using like a younger sibling or using younger children as like the crutch of their content. And it's like, you can tell when the younger kid isn't in the content because all the big numbers come from the younger kid. And I just feel like it's just corny, bro. Like, just let kids be kids, bro. Like, I feel like this whole trend started with Lil 
Lil Tay, like after people saw the success from Lil Tay, everyone started trying to be like Lil Tay or like everybody just took their younger sibling and was like, yo, say this, this, and this, act like Lil Tay. And even family channels. I'm gonna even blame family channels too. Cause I feel like family channels, bro, like what happens when a family channel is falling off? They just have another kid. It's literally just like that. But yeah, overall, the, the whole like gist of this video, bro, just let kids be kids. Like stop trying to make them your freaking like social media star when they're like three years old, nine years old, 10 years old. Like, bro, you do not have to be an influencer at like 10 years old, bro. Dog, just let them grow up, bro. That's it. That's it. That's all I got to say, bro. I feel like it's just corny, bro. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole trend of exploiting kids in the comment section below. Do y'all think it's messed up or do y'all think that like, hey, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's creating a career for them in the future. But yeah, with all that being said, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video where I talk about the cringe world of finance influencers. If you had a few laughs in this video, bro, I promise you're going to laugh like crazy with that video. But yeah, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. It's Cameron and I'm out.